hoping we're going to get Sammy versus Jeff Hardy for the IC title. They haven't officially made it, but I'm I'm pretty sure it's going to be there with the way SmackDown played out. So okay, do we want do we want to do we want to just do it? Should that be the tiebreaker? We can do that. Yep. We can do that. Yep. So then we got <laughs> Keith Lee versus Randy Orton, and his music's different. And they made him wear more clothes because they're ashamed of his beautiful body. And he's facing Randy Orton. And people say, yeah, Keith Lee is being pushed to the top. He's facing Randy Orton. But I think Randy Orton was supposed to win that title on on Sunday. And and I think he's going to get a win because of such. I'm, I'm going with Randy Orton. And I feel real bad for Keith Lee. Yeah, this one this one was the hardest for me to try to figure out what I wanted to pick because I mean everything says you just brought Keith Lee up. They've been pushing him strong. They pushed him in uh in SummerSlam and the Royal Rumble. We talked about that last week. They've been doing so much with the guy. You have to have him win his first main roster pay per view match, especially against a Randy Orton. You know, you could have a feud with these guys. You know, Orton wins the next one. You have a rubber match. But then, you know, I hear it's then it's Randy Orton. And it's also a really good NXT guy. So then it's like, well, of course, Vince is going to fucking smash him and teach yeah. him, you know, you can't come up here and main event and win. <laughs> so I'm going to I'm gonna go with Keith Lee. It's it's almost a flip of a coin in my yeah, book. Yeah, I really I'm want go to. Keith Lee. I just feel like it's probably smart not to and hope yeah. I'm wrong. I, uh, I agree with you. Also, also, you know, Edge is going to be back by Mania and Randy Edge are going to have their big last blow off. I think you got to keep Randy looking strong somehow. It could be, although reports have been coming out now that that's, that's been put on hold or, or that plans are changing and they don't know what they're going to do and well, that they might not do. 2020, of course. <laughs> yeah. So there's talk of them maybe not doing the Randy Edge. But I, I don't. I don't need to see it. Can we do Edge and Sean. How do you? How do you follow up the greatest wrestling match ever? You know what I mean? That's just stupid. But Edge and Sean with them each the, running the a war games. The, <laughs> the battle of the handicaps. There you go. No, Edge, Edge and Randy Orton running a war games against each other with with squads could be cool. Yeah, yeah. But the revival's yeah. not in WWE anymore, so never mind yeah. that. Uh, then uh. we got United States Championship match pre-show, probably. <laughs> we were so excited about it last time. Apollo Crews takes on Bobby Lashley. <laughs> yeah. Let's just throw him against any of the black people. Right. He's got to go against the whole crew. Of I'm surprised that's not Shelton Benjamin. Maybe he was like on on Raw or something. You think it would have been Shelton Benjamin and then <laughs> right. Bobby Lashley, Lashley the last. final boss? But, yeah. <laughs> but uh, um, maybe maybe Apollo Cruz got some cheat codes, skipped right to the final boss. He could have. I think. He uh, as much as uh, Apollo Cruz deserves this belt, the U.S. Championship is a great Apollo Cruz belt. It is, and I'm so happy he has it. Um, I think they're putting it on Bobby Lashley. You put Apollo Crews next to Bobby Lashley. Apollo Crews is the dollar store version of Bobby Lashley. Yeah, I mean, really. (sighs) They really do look like it. and He's super talented. Don't get me wrong. That guy, one of the first, like, massively muscular dudes to, like, run and flip around the ring and blow my mind in NXT. But this isn't NXT Apollo Crews. This is WWE Apollo Crews. You know, Lashley's going to be getting this t- championship. For sure. And, you know, um, you know, Apollo Crews is the better wrestler out of the two, but Bobby Lashley is the better entertain, like, all-around entertainer. Uh-huh. In match, on the mic, you know, he just, he... Bobby Lashley's got it, so yeah, of course it's Lashley all the way. And then we've got a tag match. <laughs> Seeing Prince Dominic and Rey Mysterio versus Seth Rollins and Murph Dirt. Why? 
Oh, man, we just had way too long of this last weekend, and now we're going to have more of this this weekend. Remember when they were pushing Buddy Murphy and he was putting on just stellar matches? Yeah, yep. What the and fuck now, happened there? Now he's Seth Rollins' bitch. Yeah. They sure um, J&J securityed him. Well, you know, Seth, Seth's going to be a dad soon. He's going to have to take time off. I think Murphy's going to get his feet back under him, hopefully. He's so talented. He is. Not great on the mic, but super talented. Yeah. And I really want to see him and Rollins in a fucking WrestleMania match together. Against each other, right? Against each other, yeah. Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. They tear the house down. So good. Or Murphy Styles. Murphy Bryan. Yep. 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 Fuck. (laughs) Quit holding them back. Man, I'm going with Rollins and Murphy on this one because I don't think we're done wincing in pain yet. Yeah, I'm going uh, Mysterio Inc. Just because, like like I said earlier, I thought for sure there was no way that they were having Dominic lose that, that match because Seth dominated it so much that I feel they have to get their win back. Plus, uh, this, you know... It, the pay-per-view is called Payback. The, right? Oh, yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> You know, this is just a regular tag match, so I feel like this is the second, and, and we'll get a rubber match, uh, maybe with more people. Who else is with Seth Rollins and Murphy? I think it's just the two of them. Is it just the two of them? Yeah. Okay. I thought maybe he, you know, he's I, I think maybe there was a third for a minute, but I don't remember who. Okay. I was going to say maybe they'd have, like, multiple people or something. Or, I don't know, but I could see a... I could see a I mean, they had a gimmick match with the street fight. Maybe, I see them doing maybe it's retribution. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I just think uh, I'm going Mysterio Inc. I really don't care. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, really I'm, I'm, I'm over this, and I want it to be done. Yeah. Uh, so then we got the women's tag team championships: Bailey and Sasha Banks defending their gold against the unlikely team of Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax. Who cut a very clear promo saying they don't like each other and Shayna Baszler thinks Nia's annoying tonight on SmackDown. But they're going to work together, and I think this is going to be... I think they're going to be a good hodgepodge tag team. You know, a lot of tag teams have started out that way and turned out great. Look at the bar. They hated mm-hmm. each other to begin with. Um, I can't think of another one offhand, but it, it, it has happened so many so, times. I mean, uh, you like got the librarian chapter. and Peter Avalon and, and then the dungeon master guy in AEW. There you go. Yeah. They, they don't like each other, and they can't get a win, but they're still a team, and they're great. But it does seem like they're uh, planting the seeds of the breakup, and I could almost see I could see the, the breakup happening here. Um, so or Shayna and Nia fall apart, and somehow they retain it, and that, that's, that, that would be how you stretch it. That would be how you stretch it, but I could see Bailey costing them the match, and Sasha kind of... Or, uh, uh, yeah, and have Sasha kind of... Uh, I hope Sasha Sasha's gets mad and doesn't cry. You know what I mean? She doesn't need to cry. No. Don't do not do the crying thing. Remember when Nia Jax did the crying thing? That was Yeah, wasn't good. <laughs> so I'm going with the team of Shayna Baszler, Nia Jax, or how I like to call them, a Shania Baxler. I love that, and I'm going with the same. You dig it. I you couldn't it. top it, so I just wrote the same. <laughs> and then we got what's either going to be a great match or a god awful match. It could oh, go I think it's going to be fun. I hope it's fun. We got a no holds barred triple threat universal championship match. The fiend Bray Wyatt defending his championship again against the monster Braun Strowman, but this time with the big dog Roman Reigns in the picture. Yes. I'm going with new Teeth Heyman guy for the win. Yeah, this one isn't a question. There's no, no way. He was supposed to win. <laughs> he came back and made a bitch out of both of them. You ain't a monster without me. That's what he said. Yeah. And this is the exact reason why fans despise Roman Reigns. He came back for one night and now he's in the now he's in the Universal Championship. But the funny thing is event. is this going to be why everybody loves him now though? Cuz we got the heel, he's with Paul Heyman. Oh yeah. They're going to love it. This is what I they needed it. to do it's so for good. a long time. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I'm going. Yeah, we, everybody knows it's Roman Reigns for sure. Not a not a problem. Yes. Not a question. And to clear up this Woo! tiebreaker, I think it should be tiebreaker if it happens, and I'm going to say yes. Okay. 
And, uh, yeah, we, we might actually get to a tiebreaker because I see there's only two matches, I think, on here that we disagree on, and one of them could easily end up being a pre-show. Yep. Yep, uh, I tried to, tried to play it a little bit more competitively this time. A couple of them, I, I think I might be wrong, but I think it's strategic. Oh, yeah. yeah. I need to win some. I need to win some. AEW doesn't have as many pay-per-views, okay? I can't just Yeah, do you're that. kind of falling behind. <laughs> I don't know where we're at on it, but you are quite falling behind. <laughs> um, I haven't updated our, our pay-per-view page for a while. I probably <laughs> should, but yeah. Yeah, you're kind of behind, buddy. But from what I'm seeing, <laughs> what I'm seeing WWE, I'm enjoying it. So I'm hoping maybe I can get my groove back. It's good. If I don't I like think, it, I honestly, usually I can call it pretty good. Actually, I was going to say, I honestly don't think I'm going to watch Payback. I think I will because I think my son wants to. So I'll watch it with him. It's SummerSlam that's, Part that's 2. The only way I, it's that's two the only weeks way of SummerSlam. That's what it is. Yeah. That's how I'm looking at it. No, the only way I'm watching it is if my son wants to. If he doesn't, nah. I'm not excited for it. I'm not excited for any of the matches, honestly. Really? None of them jump out at me. None of them jump out at me. What jumps out at you? Orton Lee in the main event. Orton Lee. I don't think so. I think I'm really excited to not, see what they do. I'm just afraid to see. This isn't a big match. We're do. gonna get we're gonna get complacent Orton. It's like I said before. In big time, Randy Orton comes through and can have a good match. But this is it's against Keith Lee. It's gonna be complacent Orton. I already know it. Yeah, because he doesn't try. have respect backstage. No, it's gonna be complacent Orton. And the main event, like I said, it might be great, but it might be awful. But I also just, I don't give a damn. First of all, I know Roman's going to win. So yeah. right there. Um, I'm, I'm sick of the Fiend and the Monster. I have nothing, I don't want to see that. And I guess that's all I got to say. I mean, I don't know. I, nothing here really jumps out at me except for maybe the women's tag match. Otherwise, no, there's nothing I really want to see here. Sadly, I'm just. I, I think. Could be I good. think this is. It's a hinging point for for the build towards WrestleMania, and I think that's where I'm excited because this is where everything changes. It started changing at SummerSlam. This is where everything kind of cements the direction they want to head in. Well, that's good, and I can find out what happened and what's going to lead into WrestleMania without having to watch the shit matches that <laughs> it happens on. Uh, I'm going to watch. That's it. That's what the internet's for, pasty. I'm going to watch it because I'm a journalist <laughs> and it's my responsibility. And like I said, I'm, I'm probably going to because I know Phantom wants to watch it, so I'm probably going to. Yeah, but that's you know, pay per views are fun to watch with your kids or even a bunch of friends. But if I'm going to watch it by myself, it's got to be something good. I like, so, I like when we message each other during and mark out together. It's fun. As it long as fun. we can keep up with each other. Right. But well, yeah, uh, we are at one hour and 43 minutes, Fat Mac, and, and plenty of news to get through. I like it. So we've got to snap into the Savage Sentinel. Yes, and uh, this one, little touch-up from uh, last week, Sonya Deville. She's been receiving additional threats, Pasty, and these ones are coming from unknown individuals. This happened since the recent attempted kidnapping at her home. The dude has a cult. Week, where the, uh, right? Where the 24-year-old Philip A. Thomas II was arrested. Whoa. Deville recently I, asked the Hillsborough... I didn't even realize his name last week. Really? <laughs> he, he sounds like... <laughs> Stay away from that guy. Right, exactly. <laughs> Sonya Deville recently asked the Hillsbury, Hillsborough County Circuit Court to seal portions of evidence in the case against Thomas. The motion to have the evidence sealed, including photographs which establish her home address and characteristics of her residence, as well as messages that identify her family members, was granted by the court. And that makes sense. The public doesn't need to know any more about her at all. Uh, the filing reveals that DeVille and her ex-girlfriend, Ariana Johnson, both qualify as victim or witness at risk of harm in this case. Witness protection, I called that last week. <laughs> Johnson has also been threatened by Thomas for her relationship with DeVille. The court granted the motion filed on August 24th as DeVille has received additional threats from unknown individuals, as we discussed at the top of this uh, news. I got a got a got a question for a second. How does how does a lesbian MMA fighter who's famous go into witness protection? There's certain parts about her life she's not going to change, and it's going to be an obvious 
draw. You know what I mean? Well, she's not going into witness protection. She's going into witness protection. That's why she quit <laughs> WWE. Um, but to elaborate on these threatening messages from unknown individuals, 